Hey, what's going on fellas? Welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix all of your network issues, fix ping, latency, packet loss and everything in Valorant. Once again, a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on it and I'm finally back on it. So make sure to follow this video till the end for better results. With all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, first thing first is always creating a restart point and this is very advised and you should not skip it because it will save your PC if anything goes wrong. Simply search for create a restore point and then open it up. Now once you are here look up for your system drive and then click on create, name it Valorant and then simply click on create. Once it is done you can simply close it and back to the second step. I highly recommend you guys to use Ethernet cables. Yes, you're hearing it right. Ethernet cables are much faster than Wi-Fi dongles. If you're using Wi-Fi, there are chances that your internet can be interrupted or maybe weak at times. But if you're using an Ethernet, it will provide a strong and stable connection. So once again, I highly recommend you guys to use Ethernet cables. Advice number three is disabling the startup applications. And to do that, you can simply press Ctrl, Shift and Escape and then the task manager will open right in front of you now this is the new look of task manager but what you are looking for is the startup applications which are generally on the fourth tab in this you will find a list of all the applications or most of them installed in your computer you can simply right click and disable all of the ones that you do not require or you do not use on a daily basis basically startup applications start to consume your ram and your network as soon as your pc boots up if you disable them you will only open it whenever you need it so you will be saving a lot of bandwidth Advice number four, use this command on your PC and that will give you an ultimate network boost. For that, simply run CMD and then run it as administrator. Once you've given it the permission, simply type in netsh winsock reset. And that is basically going to reset your network. Don't worry, it is completely safe. It does no damage to your computer. All you have to do is restart your PC. But before restarting, I highly recommend you guys to type this command ipconfig slash flush dns. Now that is going to clean all of the cache for your network, allowing it to work much faster. And I highly recommend you guys to use this command every week so your computer network will be working completely fine. Once you're done with this, advice number five will be disabling Windows Update in services. And to do that, simply open up Run by pressing Windows and R and then search in for services.msc. Once you're over here, click on any name and then press W on your keyboard. And now you will be looking at a list of all of the Windows Essentials. What you're looking for over here is the Windows Update, which you can find generally on the end of the list. Simply right click and then go to properties and make sure that the startup type is disabled now basically this is going to save your network being consumed in the background for windows update so you need to update windows from the settings whenever you want to windows will not automatically download the updates hence it will save a lot of bandwidth while you're playing the game once you're done with that simply click on apply and then press on ok Advice number six is using optimal DNS server. Despite having two of my videos saying the same step, I've seen a lot of you guys not using this and this can make significant changes in your ping. So if you are looking for fixing your ping, this step might actually help you. And to do that, simply open up CMD generally and then type in ping and ahead of that ping, you can type in 8.8.8.8. .8 now this is basically the DNS of the Google servers. You can simply ping it and as you guys can see the average ping is around 2 milliseconds. Now you can compare it by pinging 1.1.1.1 and this is basically Cloudflare DNS servers. So for me, I'm getting average ping of 26 milliseconds on Cloudflare and 2 milliseconds for Google. There are other DNS servers which you can try on by looking out for yourself but I highly recommend you guys to choose between Google or Cloudflare as these are the most prominent ones out on the web. For me, I am getting an average ping of 8.8.8.8 .8 so now the next step comes is open up the control panel and once you're over here go into network and internet then network and sharing center and over here you will get your Wi-Fi dongle or your ethernet cable. Simply click on it and then go to properties 
Now once you are over here, you have to look up for Internet Protocol version 4 and double click on it and then click on use the following DNS server addresses. I've already typed in for me. Uh, if you are going for a Google DNS server, it is 8.8.8.8 .8 and alternate is 8.8.4.4. .8 .4. But if you are looking for Cloudflare servers, it is basically 1.1.1.1 and the alternate is 1.0.0.1. Simply click on OK and it will be automatically set it for you guys. Then click on OK. Now double click on properties once again. And another important step is click on configure, go to power management and make sure that all of these three options are disabled. This is going to save your PC to shut down Ethernet when it is consuming a lot of power and we do not want it because it will give you packet loss while playing. So to fix packet loss, I had recommend you guys to turn this thing off. And once you're done with that, simply click on OK and then close the Ethernet settings. Now, finally, if you are getting many internet related error codes on Valorant, here is a potential fix to all of your problems. Simply search for allow apps through Windows Firewall. You have to open it up and then click on change settings. Now basically this will let you to change all of the settings allowed to access your internet. And in case you do not have Valorant in here, you can simply click on allow another app, go to browse and then go to your local disk C or wherever you have installed Riot Games or Valorant. You have to open up the Riot Games folder and Riot Client and then you're looking for riotclientservices.exe. All you have to do is add it up in here and add. For most of you guys, this might already be added, but if not, you can see it was not added for me and now it is added. Once you're done with that, simply click OK and now you have basically allowed Valorant to access the internet. Now, if you are getting any or all of the packet loss, ping issues and other related issues to network, that will be fixed. Now once again, if nothing worked for you guys, here is a one-stop shop solution. I can't stop but tell you guys about Exit Lag. Exit Lag is a free to use application for three days. You can download it from the link in the description below. Once Exit Lag pops right in front of you, you will see a list over here which contains over 250 games you can choose from. Simply search for Valorant from the list over here and then select the game region. In case you are not aware of your region, you can simply scroll all the way up and click on all regions and that is going to automatically select the nearest region to you. But I know my region, that is I in Mumbai 01. And once you have added that, you can see the estimated ping that you're going to get in the game. Simply click on apply routes and then go to the tools section over here. Go to the FPS boost section over here and then click on the first, third, fourth and second last option over here. Now these are the best settings, it can be changed via this single application so you do not have to go and change everything out there. It is great. And once it is done, you can simply minimize exit lag to the system tray and open up Valorant to enjoy the best gaming experience that you are waiting for. If you have tested that exit lag is working completely fine and you are getting better progress with it, I highly recommend you guys to check out the subscription plan that you can get for monthly, semi-annual and quarterly for significantly affordable prices. Once again, if you are looking to buy any of these subscription and you want to get an extra 20% off, use code BEARFOX20 to save yourself extra 20% off on your first purchase on any of these subscription. Make sure to choose wisely. And with all that said, we have reached to the end of our video. I hope this video might have helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to leave a comment on what video should I bring next. And don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below as well. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.